Okay, welcome everybody to the Loose Screen of Awesome podcast. I'm Jared. I'm Jasper. I'm Nagilum. And today we'll be talking about form. Why wait for masks? Because we didn't have anything better to do. Yes. That's pretty much the only reason. Yep. So, waveform. What did we think of waveform? Like wow. That, that's what I thought about it. Wow. The best wow. game of the year. Game of 2012. Probably also could end up the best game of 2013. It's just so amazing. Okay. Sweet. That's good to hear. <laughs> well, yeah. I was uh, intrigued by it because it's uh, basically... Uh, Old school side scrolling, well, not shooter, but I mean, you have a ship and it's moving, so, well, this is a blob, a circle. But anyway, it reminds it reminds me of an old school uh, side scrolling shooter like game, and it uh, tries to do something new, create waves. Well, I guess we're, we're gonna talk about that a lot uh, in this review, but uh, maybe you can say some stuff about the game. Well, yeah, I thought it was pretty entertaining. Uh, it like Jasper says, it tries something new. It does interesting things with sound and light, and tries some interesting color that don't really pan out. Uh, it's a really relaxing experience, and easy to control, and it's just easy to get lost in. Play for an hour and be totally relaxed. Yeah, so maybe you can explain the basics of the game, because I'm pretty sure if I'm gonna explain it, it'll be uh, quite a long story, and people still won't... Grasp the idea. Yeah. Yeah, so basically for those of you who haven't played the game and are watching the footage right now... Shame on you, by the way. Waveform is a game in which you control a light particle that's traveling from outer space to the sun, passing all the nine planets in the way. And your goal is to control the path of the light particle. Uh, the path is, a, path is a basic sinoid wave and you can change the amplitude and the frequency. Um, and your goal is to pick up light orbs and avoid dark matter and a whole lot of other things that get introduced later on and to get to the end of level with as high a score as possible so if you're watching that right now that's what's going on the particle is going up and down you can see the path being altered for magnum and that's pretty much it yeah that's the goal of the game at least in the first few levels obviously there will be more elements introduced later on but we wouldn't want to spoil too much that's for you to find out yeah it's quite interesting because um the first two levels I played and were actually watching me play, so probably watching the first two levels now and you can see me sucking at them, so that's also possible. loving it. But um, what was interesting, like the first two levels, I missed everything. And then after a few levels, I kind of got into the vibe of the game and I was, was like surfing on a wave. And once you're uh, in the zone, then you hit like every wave right and I know it's interesting. Felt quite good. Yeah? Yeah. Well, same for me. Uh, the beginning was horrific. Um, I missed everything, and I got like a score of 25% in the in the first level. It's like, um, what am I doing wrong? But as as you get the, the, the controls, you get handy with the controls. It uh, it gets fun, and that uh, actually, uh, well, you can entertain yourself for at least a few hours. So I did uh, enjoy myself playing the game. Although I do have to admit that. Um, my time this week was limited, so I did not play the entire game yet. I don't think any of us played the entire game yet. Yeah. I played up to um, Saturn, I think. Where did you guys get to? Uh, I think something like the third world, not that far, to be the honest. The second world for me. It's Neptune and the planets that we're talking about. Yeah, I didn't. No, I no but it's, it's, the it's the type of game that's like it's entertaining for uh, for a few hours, and then course like every every level introduce a new element and uh, difficulty and but it's more of the same so like after a while it, I mean, yeah I don't know you just stop playing and pick it up on a later time and it's nice I mean you can if you only have 10 minutes you can play this game and yeah, yeah, th that's, that's the type uh, of game yeah why it's nice yeah, it's the kind of game that I would play like if I would be in school and have a free period or yeah exactly when I have an hour break at work you know like just a short period of time to uh, to play a game and it's very enjoyable and you can get do actually a few levels in a short amount of time so uh, but, i mean but i prefer the mass there, effects yeah. in this world but i mean th these are the type of games that you can just play for a few minutes like bridge constructor yeah that is very true the one thing that i'd like by the way is that um basically every planet has a starting point and an end point and it has the long path around which is all the regular levels and then from level three or four onward you can go through a bonus level 
directly to the final level. Yeah. And you can only unlock that if you have enough stars, and you get stars based on your score in the game. So basically, the game offers you a way to skip most of the content and get to the final levels if you're good enough. And I like that because it made getting far enough into the game to actually review all these easier. <laughs> yeah. That's the way I got the Saturn, by the way, by just skipping most of Neptune and most of Uranus. Uh, <laughs> it's Uranus. But I do like that feature, that if a certain world has elements you don't like, like the mirrors you get on Neptune, I can't wrap my head around those. And the game just allows me to skip that. And then uh, Uranus has uh, the color orbs or whatever. And I actually like that, so I did all the levels. And that's a feature that more games should. Yeah. Allowing you to skip if you're good. I like that they um, added all the colors, but I would have liked if they the colors would have a bigger impact on your screen. Like it has an impact now, but for example, if you I don't know if you ever played uh, Bit Trip Runner, I think I it's like that, something like that. And there it's like if you hit the colors, like you you get totally spaced out. And I would have uh, liked to see that happening more in the game as well. But I know you liked uh, the colors, like I like the element of the colors. Yes, they could have done more, but yeah, okay. I liked it more than the mirrors, for instance. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so uh, about the music in the game. What do you guys think? Quite relaxing, I guess. Yeah. And it gets faster once you hit more waves, right? So that's a nice... Yeah, yeah definitely. The, uh, the game just speeds up if yeah. you get waves of colors in uh, consecutively. And if you miss things, it slows down. So it has an adaptable difficulty that takes player skill into account. All well, games don't have. And yes, the music uh, speeds up and works with that speed as well. I liked the music. It was relaxing. It was most zen-like. If you're in the zone, of course. Well, in the zone, it's just sleepy. <laughs> it's but completely frustrating. You're like, oh. but at some point, you're just modulating the wave. It should be mentioned that you control this game with one hand, just with the mouse. Drag up and down to increase yeah. amplitude, drag left and right to alt frequency. It's real easy. It's not very complex, and it allows you to get into that special immersion zone really quickly. And the music helps with that. Game made for a Nagulum, playing with one hand. Oh, yeah, this is an in joke. Warcraft, one hand. <laughs> World of Warcraft, one hand. You need to play this game with two hands, one hand. <laughs> That's why uh, Nagum was amused with uh, Terra. Could you? <laughs> that you had two skills on one mouse. Yeah, on one mouse. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> but yeah, the music is pretty. How about the visuals? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it works. It looks pretty clean. Pretty yeah, like I said, like for example, with the chorus, like. Like, I feel like they could have done more. Well, yeah, it looked okay. Um, basic, uh, basic visuals. Uh, the game runs really smooth, and uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's fine for a game like this. It's not uh, super amazing. It's uh, it's okay. It's decent. It's okay. What about you? I pretty much agree with that. Uh, I didn't actually have any about the visuals, which is why I triggered you guys. Oh, thank you. Uh, it works. Yeah. Sometimes it's a little hard to see what you're doing, especially if you get real big from absorbing the rings, and there's a lot of dark matter on the screen. Sometimes some elements like stay in their position relative to you, and some elements are actually moving forward on the screen. Um, and that makes it real hard to judge where the path is going. Um, but beyond that, it works pretty well. Yeah. So um, you guys can see the game running in the background and it looks interesting. Give it a try. And it's worth noting that uh, the creator of the game actually stated that he's okay with people downloading the game if they want to try it. Like uh, like not the demo, but like the entire game. And if you like it, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. that you uh, consider buying it. Because he, he, I think he made it on his own. And of course he uh, spent quite a lot of time and I guess also money in creating this game. So. Of course, if you like it, buy the game. But it's nice that he's, uh, yeah, he's okay with you downloading the game if you like just for trying. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's your conclusion then. Yeah, I guess so. Well, for me, uh, it's it's an uh, enjoyable game if you uh, have a few short periods uh, to fill up. Um, enjoyable, but it's okay. I can uh, I can spend some time with it, but if I have long periods of time, I prefer more enticing games um yeah that pretty much mirrors my thoughts on this game yeah it's fun to play in short bursts and it's fun to play if you're just home alone with a headset 
and just allow yourself to get lost in it. Um, and if you're playing it for a longer stretch of time, at some point it's going to get boring and samey, because even the new elements are just, well, that new element. Um, so you shouldn't do that, but instead just play it like an hour if you're bored and you don't want to start something bigger. And it'll be pretty fun. So I actually think it's worth the money, but if you can download it for free to try with the creator's consent, then why not give it a go? So that's pretty much it. This will be a little shorter than usual because there's just not much to talk about. Um, so hopefully we'll be back to four next week. Or maybe we won't. Who knows? See you guys next time. Have a nice day. Later. Oh, <laughs> oh,